Send Odin my regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, you learn to use what you have. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. Same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Sigil should hold the frost, even in the axe's absence. Well done. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. home again after all that's happened we don't have the equipment for this
Skull and Hardy are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large bulbous thing. You can't miss it. Ah! 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 
So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Demos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now, how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Forgiveness can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse. To remember. Petrias Garrison. Ricky Peta Rofi. Oh, <laughs> 
All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if he fails? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. <laughs> oh! Not for the plan. They like me, but strangers not so much. I see that. We don't have the equipment for this. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know. But I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. at last yes uh let's celebrate you reclaim the throne we'll rebuild me and you against the world huh just like the old days i'm not staying i don't understand you're here maybe together we can take back what's ours i only just got back what's mine I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't.
Can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. <laughs> I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I... I thought you were dead. I've had to live lifetimes but those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. missed you so much. And I you, Evie. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just... Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare head. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if you ain't staying here, bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, Maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tear. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Don't run off without me now, brother. I've done what I can here. Well, brother, here to meet our new allies. Or shall we depart? Suppose that big fella we're traveling with might want to help me with the thing. Perhaps. Now and again, he's in the mood to make useful. <sighs> what is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river Delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. I was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well. Just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? 
And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here, and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. <clears throat> oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! <clears throat> what sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? Probably escaped the Blothunder breeding farm north of here. We all told him she was beyond saving. But he never gave up. She healed and hasn't left us since. She's a sweet girl. <laughs> She's pure of heart. Believes in your goodness, even if you don't. I'm glad it worked. Uh, whatever you helped her do out there. I'm still not sure I totally get you, or what your deal is, but as long as you have her back, I'll have yours. Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Veer, my love, focus on your work. You need to weave those tighter. Your alliance is unusual. I think what Kratos is trying to say is he's never seen a Light Elf and Dark Elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim... Contested territory. Past the Barrens. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alfheim. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the Elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alfheim before the division of light and dark. It's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. Which is how you ended up in prison. Where she and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends. More than friends. You can stop talking. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck out there. 